In today's market where everybody is interested in sustainability and ethical trading, Bottle and Time have gone with this ethos for quite some time since they opened. And today we're going to go inside and try out some of their small plates because no matter what, if it's breakfast time, brunch time, lunch time or dinner time, Bottle and Time is always the time. Let's go. Get it. <laughs> Drinks have come, I've gone for my favorite Brewdog IPA, the Hazy Jane, and Leela has gone for a rhubarb and pear mojito. Mojito, yes, but no booze, because I'm driving. Does it and taste good? As we all know, Nick always drinks. <laughs> oh my God, that is really good. Wow, that is like a tropical taste sensation. This is amazing, I've never had this before. If you're not boozing, I would defo vote this. So Leela, what we got here? We've got duck and black pudding bonbons oh. with a sexy plum sauce. I like the sound of that. And is that a poached pear on the side there? It I is, know, is it? yeah, fancy. So let us know. Wait, hold on, should I get a bit of pear Yeah, in? definitely get some pear Should we see how sexy this sauce is? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Real sexy juice. Everyone just watching me shove food in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it is really dumb. Yeah? Mm. So this is the teriyaki pork belly. I'm very excited to try this, especially because it has this Ooh. lovely, lovely tasty looking egg there as well. I believe that's soy marinated as well. So we'll get a little bit of the egg. Oh yes. Wonderful. Get a little bit of pork belly in there as well. I think there's some cucumber involved, giving that real Asian vibe. Nice. There we are. You ready? Oh wow. No, I don't know if anything else is going to be as good as that. <laughs> really, really amazingly salty. The egg is so delicate but still packs loads of flavour and the cucumber is really refreshing. It's a combination of loads of different flavours that just mwah, chef's kisses. So Leo's going for the hummus. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? It's hummus, hazelnut, ducker. <laughs> how do we, we never claim to be How do we say that? Why are we ducker? Okay, pickled beetroot. Oh, and it's got, wait, hold on. Are you reading up the menu? I am. <laughs> and grilled focaccia. Do, do it, you're giving away the trade secret. <laughs> you do love hummus though, don't you? I do absolutely love hummus. That is, I think the best hummus I've ever had. Oh wow, that is and a bold statement. a lot of hummus. She has, I've seen her eat a whole tub of hummus. I'm a hummus connoisseur. A big bag of kettle chips. <laughs> Oh. So next up, we've got the steak mac and cheese. That is some rare steak on the top there. And then there is Shropshire blue cheese, which is one of my all time favorite cheeses. So we're getting a little bit of mac there, a little bit of steak. Oh, look how oh, wow. well that's cooked. If you like your steak rare, that's the way to go. Amazing. <laughs> I feel like your face says it all. I just feel like Christmas has arrived at the end of March in Bottom Town. <laughs> okay, so Leela, last but not least, this is our final dish. What have so we got going on? So this is seared scallops. We've got marinated apple, bacon crumb. You like it when you go to uh, Morrison's and you get your salad box? <laughs> yes, all about the bacon your crumb Your salad action. box is mostly just bacon bits, aren't they? Black pudding, oh. which I, oh, look at the glisten on the black oh, pudding. With some great sauce, so I'm gonna get a bit of my bacon bits, a bit of the scallop of that for a mouthful. Oh. Oh, yeah. This is going to be tasty, I can tell. It just sounds like a really good combination oh of flavours all on one plate there. The sauce is like fruity because it's great, and then, mm. oh, yeah. This is a fancy dish. Mm, I'm quite like sophisticated. It. It's not fancy, Leela. What is it? It's fancy. fancy. <laughs>
UK so we got very excited yeah. and owner Gav came over and told us that we must order two more dishes and this is what we've gone for. Leela, what we got? So we have got, just getting a little, oh yeah, we've got grilled prawn with um, another word I can't say. <laughs> Z-H-U-G. <laughs> I mean, come on guys. How are we Zug. Zug dressing. <laughs> Zug dressing. Zug. Get your Zug on. And sourdough bread. Look at that juice So Look at the oil. Oh yes. So this they glisten. Is, would you not say that this looks like a hugely Mediterranean dish? Yeah, I feel like I'm abroad. Nice. How is it? Oh. oh wow, I've not seen that reaction before. I thought I'd seen all your reactions prior to this. Sounds weird. <laughs> it's got depth to it. I think that's the one thing that we would say from all of these dishes is it's such a complex mm. sort of arrangement of different flavors, isn't it? Mm. Like when you think you've sussed out what it's going to taste like, you get hit pow in the face with oh something my God. different. Yeah, that, that is deep. Wonderful, wonderful. Guys, grab an armband because this is deep. <laughs> <laughs> so we have got white market fish. It comes with squash, ginger puree, chili, and crispy kale. And you've got a nice little crust on the top there, which is my favorite part of the fish. And look, there's the kale. The hipsters will be loving it. Nice. So let's give it a go. Ooh. Oh, nice yeah. Crunch on that. that was good. Mm -hmm. That was really good. Already really nice and shiny and fresh inside there. Get a little bit of the squash there. Ooh. The chili as well and some kale. Now the kale is really, really crispy, yeah. which means it's probably been cooked with some oil under the grill or fried, and it's like having a crisp. <laughs> probably. Oh, you see, that's guilt-free as well, because that actually tastes very, very healthy. Mm. So I don't even feel bad. So we were informed by Hugh at Bottle and Time that we must have dessert the and Leela, who is never full. Yeah, Leela. The tart. The tart. Leela, who is never full because, as it is becoming known, she has a tapeworm. <laughs> She's ordered the strawberry tart. Oh, wait, wait. With mascarpone, uh... was it? Oh, look at that. No, not even any chance to talk about it. It's just straight down the hatch. Mm. She means business. Mm. That is the perfect something sweet. I'm going in for more. Oh. Sorry. Not you don't sorry. want to tell us much more about it before you leave Mexican. That was really good. You just want to be left alone, don't you? Left alone with your tart. Oh, so what a night at Bottle and Time. We oh, came, cool. we saw, we ate the whole menu. Did you have a good time? <laughs> it was amazing. So if you are in the Chesterfield area, do not lose your bottle because now is the time to come to Bottle and Time. Wait, not just the Chesterfield area, any area. Derbyshire area, Sheffield area, even above. Other areas. Other areas. <laughs> travel here. Come on over. She is right, it's to be worth fair. It's worth the travel. You get the big city vibes right here in the small town of Chesterfield, and it is flavour upon flavour. Every dish was just loaded with such oh, a complex smorgasbord of flavours. Small plates, big flavours. Oh, that is a, yeah, that's a good yeah. tagline. I'm digging that. <laughs> also, coming very soon, they are going to have a new menu. They change it seasonally. So whenever a new season so comes around, there is a new menu for you to try so you will never get bored or have to eat the same thing over and over again because they're on the ball with it and next month they are launching their natural wine menu which makes me very excited makes very happy at the moment you can only really get natural wine in big cities and for something like that to come to chesterfield it's going to be incredible but for now we are hashtag Plum Tucker. She hates saying that. I'm tired. <laughs> Good We're going to go and bivouac down for the evening, but we hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe. Bye. See you soon. Bye. Bye.